Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen at Soul Magic 99 and today I'm doing a series about how Mars retrograde is affecting the Divine Masculine right now. The Mars is retrograde until the what is it, 3rd of November, so quite a while, yeah. And obviously Mars is the action planet, so this is for air signs, so that's Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So if your Divine Masculine is a Gemini, Libra or Aquarius, we're going to check on the energies to see how this is affecting him right now. Because Mars is very much the action planet, which is very much a masculine energy. So let's check. So thank you all for watching, liking, sharing and subscribing. I very much appreciate it. So we have Third Chakra, Archangel Shamal. The Third Chakra is the Solar Plexus. This is about your self-esteem and self-worth. Magician in the Mirror. Goddess of the Moon, Hostilities, Victory, The World, Storm Warning, Woman Holding a Coin, The Seventh Chakra, which is the Crown Chakra, Strategy, and the garden and the gate. So we're going to clarify these with the tarot. So what have we got first? We've got the third chakra, the solar plexus, about his self-esteem, self-worth. So let's get some messages. Let's see where he's at right now. So we have magician. So that's good. He's working on himself. He's working on those issues. You know, he's working on becoming a master manifester in his own life. Okay, so he's focusing on that right now. Then we have Magician in the Mirror. And we have Four of Cups. Sorry, yeah, Four of Cups, is that? Yeah, Four of Cups. So Magician in the Mirror is obviously he's just had the Magician. That's about manifestation, I feel, and balancing your energies. With the Four of Cups, I feel there was disappointment in love here, regret. Um, you know, things didn't work out as planned. But he's not seeing there's still a, a cup, there's still an offer of love here. And he's just not taking any notice of it, basically. He's just living in the past, thinking of the past, past regrets. So, Goddess of the Moon. We have the Knight of Cups. So, obviously, Cups is water. That's very much ruled by the Moon. Especially if, you know, it's a Cancer. You could be a Cancer sign. Um, you could be affected by the moon energies and today we have got the new moon in Virgo so this could be very significant this could be about him getting in touch with his emotions you know out of his head and getting more in touch with his emotions and realizing that he does have love there he does have feelings here for his feminine and then we had hostilities and this is the five of coins so what I'm picking up there is that some sort of financial dispute in his life. This could be to do with an ex-partner or a business relationship. There was some sort of disagreement over money that had caused a lot of um, hardship, a lot of stress and strain in his situation. Let's get another message on that. So we've got the King of Swords. So that is obviously an air sign. So this could be your person that's definitely had problems over money and he's been using his logic his intellect to you know sort out these issues and then we have victory here and this is with the six of swords so this is about moving away this is about moving away from the past moving away from past upsets you know rocky situations upheavals sailing into smooth waters and and by doing that if he moves away from the past he will move forward to victory, I feel. And then we have the world and we have the six of wands. So that's victory. It's like the world is your oyster. So by moving away from the past, moving forward in his life, he will find victory. He, The world will be his oyster. He will have many more opportunities come up for him and be successful in those. Then we have storm warning, which is a bit like the tower, I feel. And we've got the Nine of Swords. So, yeah, there's been a lot of sleepless nights, worry, depression, stress, anxiety um, over, you know, the unknown, I feel. The unknown, what could be around the corner, 
what's in store, you know, if you've been through difficult times, sometimes you think that's all you're going to ever get is those difficult times. So it's difficult to move away from that sometimes. Then we have woman holding a coin and with the queen of wands. So this could be you feminines, you could be a fire sign or have fire in your chart, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. He sees you as somebody independent, someone passionate, driven, you know, self-motivated and also financially secure in your own life. And then we have the seventh chakra, which is the crown chakra. You know, this is about connecting to the divine, opening up to spirit. So maybe he's done that work there. And we've got the tower again here. So again, I feel it's he's had the tower moment come in and this has, you know, caused him to open up to spirit, to connect to the divine because things in his life are not going in the way that spirit wanted them to go. So we've got strategy here. We've got the devil. So maybe this person has suffered with addictive behaviours drink, drug, sex, whatever, some sort of addictive pattern, you know, codependency. And he's working on a strategy to overcome these issues right now. So that's very positive, I feel. And then we've got the garden and the gate. So let's have a look at that. Yeah, we've got the wheel of fortune. So it's about deciding to step through that gate, isn't it? Deciding to move forward, open the gate, take that chance, move forward in a new direction, you know. A bit like the full card, you know, move forward fearlessly in your life. And the Wheel of Fortune is backing it up right there. And then we've got the Page of Wands. So I do feel there could be some sort of passionate message coming through um, at some point in the future. And then we have the Sun. So he does feel happiness when he thinks of his feminine. He does see that as a happy um, situation to be in and he wants that. He wants to feel that way again. Okay, so let's clear these cards and get some other messages. So where else is he at right now? So he could have been, you know, we have the Nine of Swords, going through a period of low self-esteem, not taking care of himself. This could be to do with the devil energy as well. He's, he's sort of losing, you know, motivation, not, not got the energy to care at this time. Could be someone who's childish, who's not matured, you know, has childlike behaviours. Okay. We've got the Divine Masculine Energy here. So he's aware that he needs to do the work to self-love, self-mastery, to have union with his female. So there's been some sort of awakening here. But as I say, he, he has been unmotivated and overwhelmed. But I think he's coming out of that. But at the moment, obviously, a lot of people happen to go within. He may have angry, anger here um, over past situations, you know, suppressed anger. I feel he needs to find an outlet to release that. It could be anger at past situations, past people, at himself. You know, whatever it is, he needs to find a healthy way to express that and release that anger. He could be feeling stuck in his life at the moment or stuck in some sort of relationship or behaviour and again he needs to you know choose to free himself from that he could be feel, al feel alone right now he could be self-isolating a lot and not just because of the virus I think because he just can't be in other people's company but he needs to do the healing work right now he could be someone who's a workaholic you know throws himself into his work to forget about his thoughts and feelings just to distract himself sometimes and he, you know, I feel he did lose faith. He may have had, you know, a religious background and he had he had lost faith. But I think he's, he's starting to regain his faith and hope again now. He could have had feelings of despondency because, you know, his life hadn't turned out the way he hoped. And he had lost a sense of direction. But he does feel that him and the feminine are soulmates. He's come to this realisation. He may be feeling this connection. He's working on his instincts. He's working on using his intuition more and trusting his intuition more and going with his gut feelings, which I feel maybe he didn't be before. And he's feeling a sense of renewal. So I think at the end of this 
Mars retrograde, which is November, as I said, he will be feeling a sense of renewal after going through this process. So nothing is set in stone. So, you know, we have free will, we have choices in life, okay? And just because you have a connection with somebody, if they choose not to be with you or vice versa, that is their free will choice. But hold your vision, you know, what is it you want to manifest? As I say, today is a new moon. It's a good time to set out your intentions into the universe. What is it you want to manifest for yourself moving forward? Don't let your past hold you back. So whatever happened in your past, you know, that doesn't set the tone for your future. You can make the future whatever you choose it to be by having that positive intention. And it's got nothing will come of this situation. So for some of you, possibly this connection will not um, end in union, but the connection is still there whether you are together in a 3D or not. Okay, and as I said, everyone has free will. But have faith in your dreams. What is it you want to manifest for yourself? As I said before, you know, we've got a moon image here. So focus on your, your intentions for the next period of your life. And your dreams need a practical plan. So set the intentions, have your dreams, manifest them, but take action steps. It's a co-creation with the universe. Take action with the universe to co-create the future and the life that you deserve. We've got kindness here. I think maybe your person, maybe deep down he was a kind person, but he didn't necessarily show those traits. And he's getting more in touch with that energy and realising that that is part of who he is and he wants to be more in that energy of kindness with himself and others. He does realise that his feminine is his divine feminine. He has become aware or will come aware of this connection because he's getting more in touch with his intuition at this time. And he's missing that intimacy, you know, with his feminine, he wants that intimacy. And it's not just about the physical sexual intimacy, he wants that emotional closeness with somebody, he wants to connect with somebody in a real way. But he wants that freedom as well, he doesn't want to feel hemmed in or restricted or controlled in any way because maybe he had that sort of relationship in the past and as i said he's using his intuition he's he's tapping into his intuition right now and he's learning a lot about himself and this connection as i say this is a period for going within and yeah he's discovering a lot about himself right now okay and not always a good but he's finding the gold you know, he's finding those nuggets of gold. And he's had dark thoughts, you know, dark thoughts about himself and his life. He's had very low moments. But when you go to those low moments, the only way to go is up, really. And he sees his feminine as a teacher. She's taught him some things. And he's learning as well. Maybe he's somebody who likes to read books as well, who gets a lot of knowledge from books. And he's maybe researching a lot of things at this time as well. And he's learning to have gratitude for his life, to be grateful, to be in the moment. The more we can do this and be grateful, the more we attract into our lives. And in this card, she's got loads of beautiful little birds all around her and in nature. So maybe he's going to get out into nature or listen to some beautiful healing bird song because that is so healing, isn't it? And he wants to be that loving man. He wants to be that loving partner and bring you flowers and have a smile on his face and a hug and a cup of tea or whatever you like because he sees you as a loving woman and look at the cute pup maybe you're going to have a dog together or something um but yeah it's a couple here so there's there's counterparts here in this connection and it's a great big love you know there is a great big love here okay and it's beyond the ordinary. It's not your usual type of love because twin flame connections is not. It's a spiritual connection. It's a soul, soul love deep connection. You've shed many lifetimes and will share many lifetimes again. And he's starting to see beyond. He's opening up his third eye. He's seeing beyond. He could be a star seed. There's lots of stars here. And that could be a connection you share, a Stasi connection. And you may be getting visions and things of past lives that you've shared. 
and he's starting to release the past. I love these, um, I don't know what these plants are called now, but when we were kids, we used to, you know, make a wish, you know, blow on them and make wishes. Um, I can't remember the name of them, but they're so cute. And I think he's starting to release the past. He's working on releasing the past, all that heartache, all that pent up feeling. Okay, so that's positive. And he will come into the power of purpose. He will decide what his purpose is going to be moving forward. And that may not be till November, as I said, when Mars starts going direct again. And he's open. He's becoming more open. Again, we've got the stars here. So I feel there's a definite starseed connection here. And maybe that's something that your masculine is researching. And there's a key at the bottom there. So I think he's finding the key to self-discovery he's looking deep into his lineage maybe and past life connections so some advice moving forward we have surrender so i think he's learning to surrender to surrender to the divine to surrender to divine timing surrender to the flow of life he's receiving guidance and he's gaining that inner strength that he needs to help himself move forward and he's he's doing spiritual growth at the moment he's working on his chakras as i say his third eye his crown chakra opening he's getting messages he's getting downloads right now and he's getting signs and reminders all the time you know in the sign of feathers you know butterflies birds you know number plates numbers you know he's getting signs and reminders all the time and he's starting to become or he will be self-accepting he will accept himself he will have that self-love and that self-acceptance for himself moving forward which will really help with this connection move forward as well so there are your messages for the air sign divine masculine and i hope that helped in some way so please like share subscribe comment and i will see you next time many blessings